The Lighthouse of Minnesota is a 30-year-old, nationally accredited, not-for-profit organization providing no-cost uh, vision rehabilitation services for people of all ages uh, in a five-county area, including Manatee, Sarasota, Charlotte, DeSoto, and Highland counties. The programs we offer serves uh, every age, uh, from babies to middle school students, high school students, uh, people still of working age, and then uh, every age after that, um, all the way up to, you know, uh, people in their 90s that want to learn how to use an iPhone. So um, the Lighthouse serves uh, every age uh, and, and every level um, of vision loss. As long as somebody feels that they need a little bit of help, we are here to do that. The Blind Babies Program, and that program goes from birth until the child turns six or the child enters public school, at which point they get services from the school system. We try to involve parents uh, with their children. We don't just work with the child because the parents are the ones who are with the children most of the time, not us. And the picture of the little boy working in the refrigerator, going in and out of the refrigerator, is another typical skill that we like to work with parents and children together, showing them how they can use activities in their natural environment to enhance their child's visual and uh, sensory education. Fortunately, most of our students have what is called low vision. They have some degree of vision, um, but we do have students who are blind or who have progressive problems and they are losing their sight. And for these students, we teach them Braille. And we make Braille a fun game for them so they become really engaged in it. And the children who are, are all evaluated for how they get around the community and their homes, uh, any place in the environment that they frequent um, individually. And you can see with the child in this uh, program that she is using a cane because her vision is, is deteriorating and she is learning veil and she has learned how to use a cane to help her in the, her environment. The transition program and during in the main force of this program is to teach them how to cope with daily living skills like cooking and in the summer we have a program they're all very excited about they get an actual job for a month. Uh, they have to go certain hours, they have to appear on time, they have to dress in certain ways. Uh, they do not get paid for this job. We give them a stipend to cover expenses. They learn how to make a resume. They learn how to handle an interview. We work with mobile devices, uh, primarily iPhones and iPads. Um, the iPhones and iPads have both screen reading and screen magnification capabilities. Humidity, 71%. Page 5 of 5. Page 5 of 5. Sound shaker app. This is a great... The screen reader is called VoiceOver and it allows uh, people with no vision or extremely low vision to interact with their um, iDevice and be able to use applications um, that many people with vision just feel are part of their everyday existence. We actually teach people how to use um, full-fledged computers. So on the computer you have the screen magnifier. The, um, the one that we generally teach is called Zoom Text. You also have a screen reader um, which will read you the entire screen. It will read you anything that you come into contact with. And it also allows for you to manually control your keyboard or your computer through the use of your keyboard. Cortana, search box. Orientation and mobility is training a visually impaired person to travel safely in their environment. Sometimes that means the traveler uses a long white cane Sometimes it means they learn to use an identifying cane. And we also have a support cane that is red and white that we work on with our clients. We have clients who 
who live independently, we will add little raised markers to the dials and to the, the buttons and to the touch screen panels. And we work on using those appliances in a way that is more of a low vision or no vision way. We also work on cooking safety, including knife safety. So a lot of people are afraid of cutting up their vegetables and their fruits um, because they feel like they can't safely use knives. While that's included in the kitchen safety, we work on safe use of these knives, including using finger guards, which basically protect your fingers from the knife as you're cutting, as well as just different techniques to um, properly cut fruits and vegetables and foods. The Lighthouse of Minnesota has a low vision store within its facility and it's called Peepers. It is open to the public and the um, proceeds from the store go right back into the mission of the organization to serve anybody in our community with vision impairment. So the store carries all kinds of things that make it easier for uh, just daily activities. So we have uh, talking watches that, that tell you the time and the date. We have audio clocks, um, all kinds of magnifiers. And what's different about Peepers is that we have expert staff on site for um, anybody looking for a magnifier that they can sit with our staff, have a hands-on demonstration, and find the right magnifier that is that meets their needs. The magnifiers we carry range from the small portable video magnifiers that slip into a pocket or a purse. You can take to the restaurant to read your menu or the grocery store to read the food labels, all the way up to a desktop uh, video magnifier. Peepers also carries uh, many items that make it safer for our clients to continue to cook at home uh, for themselves. The services that we provide here are for all of the ages that we serve. Um, so in the video we've seen um, children and we've seen the teens and um, there are people like me who came through the general vocational rehabilitation program um, and then of course are what we call our older adults. Um, and anybody can have these services and we will take them as far as they want to go um, in regard to what they want to learn.